Well, I'm All excited right. to talk to you about the uh, Morbot. It, you know, I have two kids, and I mean, something actually I would like to play with too. It's a, it's a toy, it's okay. a tool, it's educational, you know? Yeah. Tell me about this scout robot. Yeah, uh, well, um, so, you know, we announced this uh, robot. Um, well, let me let me do this. First of all, let me, let me show this robot uh, for a demo. Yeah, please. So you can see it. Let me see how we can get the camera around here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. Yeah, I see it. You see? Oh, look at okay. that. Got there you go. Little... Right now we are, uh, let me see. So we're letting it to move autonomously. Mm -hmm. So this demo, basically the robot is trying to find the path uh, it can navigate and just, uh, you know, move on its own, you know, without me controlling it. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this is a, one of the features that can allow this robot to uh, navigate. But basically, the user can set up the, you know, the path the robot uh, can go, or where the robot should go. Uh, so and then the robot can navigate on its own. Wow. So uh oh, there's a, cool. <laughs> there's a block here. <laughs> Sorry. There's two in there. Traffic jam. <laughs> Traffic jam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love technology. <laughs> but anyway, so. Yeah, so how, how does it like figure all that stuff out? Or do you have to like program it or, you know? Uh, no, you know, uh, like, basically, uh, yeah. So autonomously, uh, you know, making the robot move autonomously, it's actually difficult. You require a lot of technology. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically it has to have a lot of sensors to sense what is around it. Um, so we are using um, uh, TOF sensors, for example. Um, called time to flight, uh, TOF sensors, uh, IMUs, uh, we use cameras, um, you know, those kind of, uh, you know, sensor to tell the robot, you know, uh, what is around it. And when it's moved, uh, you will know uh, the location uh, of, you know, within the house, basically. So it will always map to the location, always know where uh, within this room, you know, where this, you know, the robot is. Uh, so it actually, you know, consider, you know, basically we have to consolidate uh, quite a bit of technology to make it, you know, move. And also it's uh, one of the first consumer robot uh, has this technology. Uh, a little bit similar to the cleaning robots, uh, but because oh, we are gosh. moving faster, yeah. you know, um, so this robot, we can move uh, two kilometers per hour, uh, per hour, much more faster than uh, the cleaning robot. So, so basically, you know, our calculation has to be a lot faster. Uh, so this is actually make it more difficult uh, to do a real-time calculation. So we, we, we've been working on this for a year and a half. Uh, so basically putting all the, you know, necessary technology inside this robot to uh -huh. make it happen. Yeah. Is there ways you can hook up the robot to like like Amazon Alexa or Google Home? Yes. To do voice stuff. Yep. So. Yep. So it's uh, it works with uh, Alexa and Google Home. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, you can voice control through Alexa to control this robot to move forward or start patrol, uh, for example, and also the video, the, the the image of the from the camera in this robot can stream into Echo Show or Echo Spot. Uh, so you can use those screen device to, you know, to see the the view of this uh, oh, you know, on, cool. on this robot. Can yeah. you like, can you like say your way at work or on the way business, and can you like get into it from like your smartphone and see what your like dog or pet or you know babysitter yeah. is up to? <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 yeah. It supports uh, the standard uh, we call IP camera uh, features. So basically, you can view. Uh, from anywhere in the in the world, uh, you use your tablet or, or mobile phone, uh, and you know, different than the regular, you know, IP camera, you can move this thing around from anywhere in the world, and so you can see whatever you, you want to see in the house or in the backyard. Uh, this thing is actually waterproof, so you can run outside, so you can run in the backyard. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's so many options to play with it and, and with your kids and stuff, but there's got to be some other ways where like. 
say I guess someone like maybe a construction worker, they have to see something that's like tiny that that you can use this to like take the robot can go in and and show you what it looks like or something. Similar. That's correct. Like that. That's correct. Yeah. So so you can send it into the tunnel for small holes, whatever. Uh, use it as a tool, uh, inspection tool, basically. Uh, and this thing has night vision, uh, so it will basically, you know, always light it up. You can see in the dark, you know, what's going on, you know, in there. So, um, yeah, it, it support, uh, you know, it, you can use it as an inspection, it's an inspection tool. Basically. Wow, yeah. night vision, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, um, is there anything else that I'm not thinking of that could be used for? I mean, it feels like there's endless possibilities, you know? Yeah, well, um, it support the scratch programming so kids can learn how to program the thing. Uh, actually, the, the platform is uh, open source. So for, you know, senior, you know, programmers, they can actually take over and, and, and make, you know, more features out of this robot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. So uh, how much is it? For and is it available now or is it be launching at some point later this year? Uh, it will be available around May time frame. And uh, right now, uh, the uh, price we announced is uh, $179. Oh, wow. I thought it'd be a lot more. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about your other products you have. So we have two other products. Uh, one is we call Hugo. Uh, it's more of a baby monitor. Uh, so it was a pro joint development between us and Motorola. Um, so uh, it was two years ago. Uh, it was more uh, uh, our first generation of uh, uh, robots. Uh, and then we have another one is called more about Zeus. Uh, it's a fighting robot. It's just for straight for entertainment. Uh, uh, it, it's actually a very complex robot, a, a humanoid. Uh, it has uh, 22 uh, you know, uh, motors. Um, and this thing can move very fast. The, the, you know, the punch um, we measure can reach up to 120 meters per second. Uh, so it's actually designed for fighting. Uh, <laughs> so quite, quite fun uh, product, but it's kind of expensive. It's probably not for everyone. Uh, we, we sell this thing for uh, $2,500 basically. So, um, so pe people have you know, passion. They wanted to have a robot fight. You know, they, they love this kind of product, uh, but it's also a, a STEM education tool, uh, you know, kids can learn how to program robot, how to control robot. Yeah. That's amazing. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Stephen. Right. Nice talking to you. Everybody.